If you use Google Photos, I'll bet you really like the way it finds people's faces. It, you can easily find all of the pictures of a particular person because Google Photos does all the work for you. But it's not always perfect. Sometimes you'll find a face that doesn't belong. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. So here's my phone with Google Photos, and up at the top here, there's a memory that says Spotlight on Chris. Well, that's not me. If I open it up, all of the other ones, all of the other photos are me, but that one is wrong. Now, if I go to where all faces are grouped, that's under search, and I find me, here are all the photos it says, but there are hundreds, maybe probably even thousands. Now, if I saw the picture here right away, how you would get rid of it, you can just select the picture, and you can even select multiple. If you find people who don't belong, then it's the three dots and remove photos. And it tries to learn and get better all the time. So it asks you, why? Is it not the person? Was it blurry or offensive? You can choose something. I'm not going to do that because those were me. But there's no way I can go through all of these thousands pictures to find that one that was in the memory. So what do I do? Well, I can go to that memory, which is now all the way at the end because I opened it, tap it, and now it's going to start playing. I can long press on this one, and that stops it playing. Now I tap the three dots, and that brings up the info for that picture. I can tap on the little pencil to say, edit people. That's her face. It's saying that that's me. No, it's not me. I can tap the little minus there. And if I want to add her to something to another person, okay, but I don't. So I tap done. And now that person is not identified as me. Now the spotlight is still there. Also, by tapping the three dots, I see this hide and remove photo from this memory. It what doesn't remove the photo from my library, just from this memory. Okay, so now that person is not identified as me and it's not in the spotlight on Chris.